I'm uh, Mark Fife from the Institute for Animal Health and I'm head of the Genetics and Genomics Group and uh, we've recently been awarded a grant from the BBSRC and this is to examine the genome of the Kulakoides midge, this beast that's responsible for spreading a number of uh, important viruses to livestock uh, and have great impact on the UK economy. Uh, we've seen in the last few years the outbreak of blue tongue virus and more recently the Schwellenberg outbreak which is possibly attributed to the midge as well. Despite the fact that there are one and a half thousand species of Kulaboides midges, there's not a single genome sequence for any of them and by generating the genome sequence for the Kulaboides sonorensis populations which we have at Perbright, we will be able to use this information to build further data for other species uh, that are found throughout the world. So the reason why we want to look at the genome of the midge is that we will be able to identify why some midges spread the virus to animals and others don't. And this, we believe, is down to the genetically determined traits of the midge. And what the project involves is using the uh, modern methods of genome sequencing called next generation sequencing to generate the entire genome sequence of this midge and use this to try and tease out the genes that are important in allowing the virus to spread from the, the vector, which is the midge, to the, uh, the farm animal. With the next generation sequencing technologies, we're able to sequence the genome of this midge, which is only a tenth of the size of the human genome, but we can do this in just a couple of days. So once we've sequenced the genome of the midge, the important thing then is to put it all together, put the jigsaw together so we can identify genes that are responsible for why the virus is transmitted very well in some cases and not well in others within the population. And this is being done with our collaborators at EBI, the European Bioinformatics Institute. Here at Perbite we've been maintaining colonies of Kulikodis biting midges um, since the 1970s. Um, we've been lucky enough to have a sustained program of research which has funded our activities for a very long period of time. Because we've had these Kulikodis colonies in Perbite for a very long time, it means that we know a lot about their biology already, so whether they're able to transmit to new time and things along those lines. So that actually gives us the advantage when we come to the genome project of being able to produce these behaviours in the laboratory rather than relying on field caught insects which may not actually behave in the way which we want them to. Now these midges spread a number of very significant animal diseases. These include blue tongue virus which we saw an outbreak in 2007 and it was because IH was able to control this outbreak that we saved the UK economy 485 million pounds. Another potential threat to the UK is the African horse sickness virus which is also spread by the Kulukwadis midge. And this virus is, has the potential of affecting and killing 95% of horses that it infects. And this would be devastating to the UK's uh, equine industry, which employs over 250,000 uh, employees and accounts for about £3.4 billion to the economy.